Ah, uh, all right, guys. Um, welcome back to our uh, Thoughts of Explorers podcast again. After a long time, I think I think it's uh, two more than two months. Is uh, it? Yeah, yeah. It's more than two two. No man, more than three months. Three months. Yeah. Is it? Uh, as I remember, we uploaded our last uh, episode in September, no? September, Ju- August. Um, I didn't remember that. Yeah. Uh, whatever as happens, I happens. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> uh, we move on. Um, so uh, you can you can see a little bit of difference from from here. We are we are uh, doing. we are going to do something uh, special as uh, educational content yeah uh, this is a special series about uh, computer science or something or oh, the let let me see the uh, oh yes the series is about computer science or the theoretical sciences yeah and uh, the today we are, we are going to Uh, have uh, basics uh, the basic concepts or the uh, let me tell as uh, evolution so the history of computers mm. and data representation systems yes how they de- how data is present in computers yes how do that yes and uh, architecture yes. may yes uh, before that uh, we should uh, i should mention uh, we are not uh, genius or the professionals in handling these experts handling these uh, english language or uh we 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 could or uh, we ma- we will make uh, some mistakes some not some <laughs> we 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 will make uh, several mistakes uh, uh in main several uh, amounts uh, so so or, or before all of that uh, i already make an apology uh, from all of you so sorry for that uh, please accept uh, that's because it is what it is <laughs> yeah it is what it is uh nice um uh, last last uh, when we talking about last two or three months uh, we were, we were started uh, the uni life and uh, suddenly uh, mid exam <laughs> became <laughs> terrible headache <laughs> like a, like a nuclear bomb in my ass like a thing boom <laughs> like that and <laughs> uh but but after doing mid exams uh, i i feel uh, it's but, good uh, but we we face it we face it it's yes, very easily man yeah, we face it but but uh, i thought that uh, mid exam is like nuclear bomb for like boom like uh, no no that's but it's it's not like that no, no, it's it's just like a little rot on my ass uh, <laughs> but 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 uh, next i uh, next uh, next uh, final exam final i think it's we are uh, having to do it's in january i think january or the first first week of february uh, let's Maybe. let's guess that mm. Mm, it's, going, <laughs> it's going to be a little little not little <laughs> little bit grenade in my ass <laughs> you think so um uh, so for that uh, we are preparing these uh, these podcast as it uh, contains uh, education and concepts as well um, and uh, we are trying to uh, avoid repeating exams <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we should mention that mm. that's why we all do all these things just like this yes. uh so uh, first of all uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about the evolutions and the computer history uh so uh, let's go directly to the main points uh, for the intro of these computers uh, could you please mention some intro for these computers yeah, yeah. when we when we talk about computer thing uh, as not as charles babbage was invented this computer system thing that's why we call him as a uh, father of computers also uh, ada lovelace <laughs> was the first computer programmer ah, <laughs> that's why programming language is hard to <laughs> understand because she is a female <laughs> she's a female you're my bro <laughs> so uh in uh, we when we talk about evolution of computer systems uh there are five generations mm-hmm. uh from uh, uh, let me dis- let me discuss about the uh, first generation for the uh, uh, fifth by step by step uh for the for the hardware of that uh, structure of the first generation uh let uh, for that before that hardware may should be mentioned the time time period yeah 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 
uh, from 1944 to 55 yes uh, we uh, we categorized the first generation of computer yeah, as yeah. from uh, 1944 to 1955 uh, Uh, uh let me go for the hardware yeah the main component is the main valve as known as uh, vacuum tubes. tubes yes and uh, it's a very large scale mm-hmm. and uh, it's very heavy and that, the, the, actually the punch card for inputs and uh, uh, processors and for the output is also the hard component for hardware yeah, yeah. Uh, and mm-hmm. high uh, the very may and uh, most least i don't think this advantage thing of this type computers is uh, they use uh, high power consumptions uh yes and uh, the software used for this uh, first generation computers is like uh, machine language only a machine language, machine language. that's mean if you uh, play um, isn't there a assembly language also uh no 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 uh huh it will come with i think uh, it will come with uh, second gen or third uh-huh. gen uh huh so so that's it uh, so so first generation of uh, computers uh, software is go- goes with the machine language remember that uh, uh, as examples uh, you can get uh, eniac edvac univac or ibm 6 yes 650 ibm as as you know mentioned earlier the characteristics of uh, or the features of these first generation uh, high heat generation slow process uh, large in size as not portable and lot of electricity consumption and complex things like that uh, as and also the eniac edvac etc univac ibm 701 701 other some some example for this yeah. uh, first generation of computers uh, so you can go to the next uh, first next generation of uh, it, it means uh, second generation of uh, computer evolution yeah uh, when you talk about that the uh, time period is uh 1955 to 64 uh the main component is the transistor uh yeah transistor uh by invention in this transistor thing uh second uh second generation computers uh, far more uh, small than first one mm-hmm. first gen uh, oh yes uh, yes and, and and also the less iterations and uh, then first generations and also less power consume Uh, yeah. m- uh, faster than first gen this also became with the i think these transistors will yeah. be a play a major role in this um, occasion but uh, and i should mention that uh, the transistor was invented in uh, 1974 uh, by uh, bell lab engineers uh, william shockley john bardeen and walter bacher matter uh-huh. uh-huh. right so so the and the tapes and floppy disk became uh, became the start of, uh, that means uh, birth of these uh, tapes and floppy disk uh, yeah. begins in this uh, second generation also that's magnetic types yes. uh, storage devices yes and also the software types uh, let me discuss about this high level programming languages and assembly languages mm-hmm. are birth in this mm-hmm. uh, i think this second generation of these computers and uh, I told you earlier that those are the characteristics like uh, small in size than than first generations, less trip generation than uh, first generation and also the less power consume. And uh, I must say the concepts of uh, central processing unit and the memories and the programming languages in input and output are developed developed in this uh, second generation uh, with these second gen computers. Yes. Uh, let me give some examples for this. um second second, gen? second generation of uh, inventor systems like for double low <laughs> anivel the not that tiny <laughs> not that tiny this is anivel that this is a system this is a computer this is a computer <laughs> uh, if you uh, think that tiny you, you have a dirty mind right uh, let's go for the next one <laughs> as well as just like us and uh, ibm's uh, 7 or 30 cd c16 of a univac clock uh but da, 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 there are several uh, yes. computers in second yes. gen yes and that's it that's up to the second generation and let's move for the third one yeah yeah when we talk about third one the time period is 1964 to 19 uh 71 uh 
Uh, the main component is uh, integrated circuits as known as ICs. Uh, by, by invention these ICs, uh, the gen <laughs> computers far more small than second and first yes, yes, level yes. Uh, computers. And also the high capacity disk are that that than first gen, second generation uh, tape tapes and floppy disk as developed as developed as high de- capacity disk can uh, for the inputs keyboards and mouse uh, are developed in this yeah. uh, evolution so third evolution third generation of evolution and uh, uh, let me introduce uh, the we you know Intel and AMD companies mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. they are started uh, in 1969 uh, with this generation of computers those are the processor processor companies I yeah think. processors that, those are the running co- companies <laughs> our computers yes yes yes, yes. and also the so when we talking about the software birth of OS it means the birth of operating system has become uh, developed in this third generation of computers and also the high level programming for codings like that um, developing these also in this third generation of computers and for the characteristics as I mentioned to you earlier small in size let's see generation faster than second gen low power consume and let me uh, m- yes. mention that uh, uh, in a flow of evolution thing mm-hmm. uh, they are still the all gen in this uh, generation yes our computers step by step uh, smalling yes small by scale and uh, each generation less less and uh, cost is going to be less less and also the processing value is increasing increasing yeah and um, yes uh, and memory size is also uh, increasing yeah um, those are the those are the common things actually you need to just uh, focus on one thing and you can write if you want that is a paperwork and you can write this on a uh, base uh, as you uh, you as you like da, 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 da. Uh, just blah 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 and da, da, da. <laughs> and for the uh, examples for the inventor system IBM 360 uh, PDP IBM uh, 370 and TDC 360 yes uh, that's up to third generation I think uh, let's yeah. move for the fourth one uh, the main uh, when we talk about fourth gen uh, it's uh, 1971 and beyond. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the main uh, component is large scale integrated circuits, circuits and very large scale integrated circuits. That's me, <laughs> aka processors. Uh huh. <laughs> and also the microprocessors also. Yeah, yeah, microprocessors. Uh, so that was the hard hardware of the fourth generation. And let me talk about this. Let me talk about this uh, the software uh, software development of the fourth generation of these computers and uh, operating system with graphical user interface yeah. uh, has developed. That uh, means yes. the uh, beautiful user interface came yes. with this fourth generation. Yes, and also for the high capacity hard disk, floppy disk, optical disk like this magnetic you you know uh, magnetic storage uh, devices. Yes. And, and optical devices oh, yes we will discuss uh, about that in the in, uh, future Sooner. yes uh, so uh, for the characteristics we can uh, mention uh, this is the first first time portable portable machines are you, we can we can take this machine from one place to another place that is that is portable the meaning of portable and uh, upgradable and cheaper cheaper and then cheaper than <laughs> all the day, all the generations uh, elders, fewer elders, than, elders. Fewer. cheaper than elders. And for the examples, as the examples, IBM and the Apple, Apple two, uh, deck ten, star thousand, just like this. Yes. Uh, is that it for the fourth one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I when we talk about fifth gen, uh, there's no time period because we are in we are in the fifth one fifth and we one. are developing uh, so many things. So many things from uh, uh, yes. As main components, we can take uh, ultra large scale ICs uh, and artificial intelligence and natural language processing, internet and multimedia application, da, 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 such a thing, and parallel processing that means multitasking. Multitasking and the voice recognition, face recognition, and also the, uh, one day will be naked recognitions like that. <laughs> 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 So for the uh, software and uh, also as 
for with the fourth generation or is with the graphical user interface uh, uh, in fifth generation software is uh, far more uh, uh, user friendly than yes 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 uh, the gens yes and also the voice recognition and, and, and those are works as operating systems in this uh, fifth then till now till now we don't know about the future yeah. and also the portable less, less expensive than the uh, above elders but hey, in this country <laughs> this can <laughs> <this, this>, <laughs> that is a problem <laughs> yeah that's the problem uh, this country is um, with the tax aha mm, uh-huh. <laughs> that's going to, that's going to, terrible headache for the when uh, we parents actually i am tell my boss i so one of those 70000 dollars you yeah i think i will uh, buy uh, ibm or something i i will can no nice nice uh, for the examples for the fifth generation uh, pentium uh, pc so and this is chromebooks mm. notebooks mm. ibms i am not just Uh, that's it for the evolution of these computers are from the uh, 19 i think 44 uh, 1944 44 yeah. for the till now uh, let's go for the one new man architecture yeah um uh, what is one new man architecture before that uh, uh, that this uh, architecture was introduced by the uh, man called one new man uh, that yeah, the, uh, right. this was uh, introduced by uh, the There is a time period now, first, uh, first to, first second. to second generation. Yeah. This that's, time, that's transition time transition period. Transition time period, uh, w- w- this one new man architecture was introduced. Yeah. Uh, for this uh, architecture, these calls, uh, programs and data can be stored in a memory device instead of rewriting the machine. Why we use this architecture type? I don't know. <laughs> I think uh, the uh, maintain our input and output systems. Yes, yes. That, that, that's why I told you earlier. Instead of rewriting this machine, yeah. uh, for the first generation, we, we we used to rewrite all the things and uh, again and again. That's why uh, first yes. gen computers only conduct with machine language. Machine languages and there is no memories and some things like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so with the uh, one new one architecture, architecture in this develop for the uh, data can be stored as. Uh, memory device yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and uh, there's a flow chart flow chart like these uh, uh, cpu with this one you know an architecture we uh, they introduce cpu oh. and secondary primary memory things and input output as well yes uh, so uh, i think you will be imagine that uh, <laughs> flow chart flow chart uh, it means cpu Uh, CPU has actually uh, three uh, main three, three main components, components. Uh, like registers and uh, arithmetic, ALU, ALU arithmetic, arithmetic logic, logic unit. unit and the control unit. CPU. Yes, control units control the all the parts of the computer. Yeah, that's the brain. That's the brain of the computer. And also the arithmetic uh, logic unit is the uh, do actually log- logical things and the arithmetic yeah. uh, come arithmetic. What, what do you say? Calculations like that. Calculations. Mm. That's mean uh, ALU just like our logical part logical in our part, brain. brain. And uh, the registers. Re- registers temporarily stores the memory yeah. uh, from uh, we. input some memories and some of every uh, operations yes so actually it, it happens like this uh, we if we input some data uh, it uh, automatically go go for the main memory and uh, registers take that mm-hmm. register store temporarily that data and uh, go uh, check go, whether check uh, go check and the, check those data and go, go for the arithmetic logic unit and it uh, process and uh, if Uh, that that will uh, you know that will calculate or the something like uh, data from information yeah, yeah and that's all that's all that that again uh, lu uh, goes for the registers and uh, also mem- main memory use like output that's only much huh? that's only and uh, for the transistors um, i should mention i should mention it earlier but i uh, forget that uh, Dude, i did it aha uh-huh. is it Uh, act as a uh, transistor uh, act as switch gate for electronic signals hello i mentioned that to intro that uh-huh. <laughs> sorry man <laughs> not that <laughs> not that historical things these are the uh, for that i i should mention i should may told you earlier may uh, that those those were for, for the, from the first for, from the first generation for the first this is the uh, fifth transition generation. period yes 
from first to second gen so, i should mention that these are not compulsory to remember those all the things uh, just take an idea just take an idea and uh, remember all these common things and uh, different things if if you things uh, vac- if you heard vacuum tubes uh, you go with the first generation okay, if you if you, if you heard uh, transistors you go with the second generation if you go integrated circuits you go pc man easy pc you go with the third generation uh, if you heard uh, likewise uh, so i i would say that uh, transistors act as switch gate for electronic signals and it means uh, processing and storing information by semiconductor chips you know uh, these are the city city theories i hate this in my mind also so uh, let's go for Not the only you brother <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's go for the uh, storage devices yeah i mean it uh do we jump into storage devices what about the io devices ah uh, let's go for the io devices ah uh, when you talk about input devices what are these input devices common typically we use io ch- io devices means we we that is a short form yeah. io devices means input, input and output, output devices. devices sorry i did mention that input devices as do well, typically we use to input data yes <laughs> just like keyboards mouse pads or da, 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 such a things yes and output devices who, what devices we use to present or represent our data so data, data as, and information. as information yeah data as information, information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just like monitors mm-hmm. printers da, da, da. Uh, in uh, that's all about this uh, uh input io devices and we have uh, processing devices <laughs> who is which is going to process all these data yes yes just like our chips uh, we mentioned uh, yes oh, yeah. this uh, evolution thing yes uh that's all uh huh so let me move to the storage devices. devices yeah so uh, let us discuss about the features first of all volatility volatility and volatility uh, has two two types as and as uh, no, volatile no, 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 and no. volatile uh, what is volatile then uh, volatile is uh, stored data when the computer is turned on turned, turned on. on it means uh, when the if computer has power power uh, store data it when stores data when computer turned off when the computer uh, is turned off uh, data has gone data has gone disappear abra kada abra yes that is that is world right uh, it 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 has ram and caches yeah uh, just like those are the uh, examples for the volatile storage and let's go with the non volatile storage uh, so you can have some imaginary thing if we uh, mention it earlier volatile storage is the when the store data when the computer is on uh, so non volatile is, is the store data when even the computer is off isn't it yeah yeah just like uh, rom solid state drives yes a magnetic storage devices just like uh, uh, not only magnetic storage optical oh, yes, devices yes. too just yes. like hard disk yes. cds uh, when we talk about solid state drives just like chips memory chips mm-hmm. pen drives flash drive da 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 mm-hmm. you know the wrong thing no yes. uh, read only and accessibility accessibility yes uh, there's a random access and sequential access mm-hmm. what is the random access <sighs> you can see uh, a computer's short term memory where the data that the processor is currently using is stored i don't know what i did. i said <laughs> <laughs> i i just read it <laughs> 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 my note <laughs> that's why i asked from you i also didn't get that the random access and the sequence access uh, yeah. uh, just fight just fight <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as a theory is a sequence access is the data that can be accessed and re- retrieved only in the order in which it was stored in the system just like magnetic tapes that makes some sense here uh-huh uh but and, i didn't get that sense uh, i think so the sequence of uh, access means uh, you have to uh, access 
to that memory step by step uh-huh, i think so uh-huh. random random means you can uh, yes for all those oh, yes <laughs> just like think uh-huh. uh-huh. so, so uh, the when we talk about accessibility random access memories are ram is ram just several types of ram just like S RAM, B RAM, D RAM, da 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 da. RAM means a uh, static RAM and dynamic RAM uh, like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. And see optical devices too. Yes. yes. Uh, and uh, sequential access, we can take magnetic devices, mm-hmm. just like magnetic tape, da da da. And the another characteristics is these uh, storage devices is mutability. Mutability. So. continue it anju uh, so mutability contains the read write storage is like cd uh, you know the cd has uh, s- several types like uh, read write, we can uh, read c- the only read then we can uh, erase it then read again uh, yeah. write again like that blue ray series yes DVDs, yeah. Yeah. so read write storage mutability means uh, read write storages and read only storages like that uh, do you want to tell something about this uh, mutability uh when we talk about mutability uh we can ask mutable storage series series uh optical devices uh-huh. as well and uh, and uh, not uh and non mutability that's mean uh, read only storage mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's uh, make sense that's make the point mm-hmm. uh, which uh, about the read only memory ak or known as from uh-huh so let's move with the next one right addressable addressable location addressable file addressable content addressable i don't know uh, addressability means the capability of microprocessors to deal with one instructions uh-huh. it means the ability of cpu to identify each locations <laughs> that's that's why we call uh, location addressable and file addressable and that's also the content addressable So uh, that's up to the features of the storage devices. We uh, should we go with these types? That means uh, we have some types like uh, yeah. primary storage. Primary storage uh, registers. Uh, with the let me talk yes. about these first of all types and and let's go with examples of one by one. Yeah, yeah. And um, types are the primary storage, secondary storage, and uh tertiary storage and also the offline storages uh, but sometimes these tertiary uh, storages and offline storages are also uh, the same like uh, the meaning is They same are... but but different yeah like like the atom just like <laughs> <laughs> it appears here but it doesn't actually in the atoms like yeah just like that uh so the primary story are you talking about physics uh, <laughs> let's go with uh, icd then <laughs> uh so go with uh, then primary storage and the uh, and the examples yeah when we talk about primary storage uh, registers cache and main memory just like ram rom we can take primary storage uh the ne- definition of primary storage as uh, i google it Uh, the collective methods and technologies used to capture and retain digital information that is in active use and critical for an organization is operations o- organizations operations uh, that's all uh, don't ask me what i said uh, mm-hmm. let's go with the second story secondary storage devices like uh, when we talk about secondary storage dude i did note down that <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let, let, secondary storages are the examples for the hard disk and like that. Yeah. Uh, and also the tertiary and the offline storages are all the CDs, pen drives, likewise those are just. Uh, tertiary storage uh, combines high capacity data, achieves design to in, uh, incorporate vast numbers of re- removable me- media such as tapes and optical discs. and offline uh, storage types are these uh, type of storage that is kept away from your net <laughs> typically we can see that mm-hmm. and uh, that's up to that's it no that's it uh, but we have to talk about uh, cache and registers uh when we talking about registers i should 
mention some of these uh, registers are small in size. Dude, is that cash or cash? Cash memory, no? Cash. Cash, cash. Uh, I think cash. <laughs> ah, I think so. <laughs> and uh, what I was telling you? Uh, you just uh, remember in the register thing. Ah, registers. Uh, registers are small in size and the fastest memory. Uh, I told you the earlier the, uh, the function is uh, temporarily holds frequently used data and instructions t- to be used by CPU mm-hmm. mm, and it measured by the number of bits they can hold actually uh, they are uh, 8 bits 32 bits and 64 bit computers yeah, yeah like what this. about the KB size address minimum sizes of that is goes with uh, addressability I think ah, addressability yeah you know. Uh, speed. Uh, that's uh, that's it. I think for the registers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Have we told about the cache memory? No, no. But oh, we can't uh, jump into that because we have to talk about accumulator, program counter, introduction, register, da 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 thing. Ah, uh-huh. you have to tell that. Uh, the memory. Uh, there are uh, several types of. Uh, Registers just like uh, memory address register, accumulator, program counter, <laughs> inter- instruction register, and memory buffer register, index register, flag register, stack register, control register. Those uh, will be discussed uh, mainly by our next podcast, and uh, you can have just a map mind map on these things, and uh, we will discuss and more about this. And take a time to concentrate what the fuck we did say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, uh, right. Uh, is that it? Yeah. Is that all for now? Uh, what should we go with now? Alright, uh, let's go with the hierarchy of these computers. What's this? What's mean hierarchy? Hierarchy means these uh, flow of these uh, storage devices. How it's operated or such a thing? Uh, no, it's it's like uh, features like features likewise. Uh, let me talking about this uh, non-volatile to volatile. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it 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 becomes a low capacity and high cost as high speed. Likewise, there is a there is like and, a, uh, a small scale. Yes, actually there is a pyramid in the note. Uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are uh, referring those uh, slides uh, we will upload some slides or some PNGs to refer you guys yes with this product so that's up to um, let's move it what's our next topic uh, now we can uh, we have to uh, compare the statistic memory and dynamic memories no uh-huh. ah yes yes yes, yes. Mm. so with the static memories, uh, let's compare it, right? Yeah. Uh, no charge to leak. No what does that mean? I didn't get that much. Huh? I me either much. Huh? In dynamic memory, they say bits stored as charging cap capacitors. Ah. Uh, Whatever happens, happens. You have to read static memories. Faster than dynamic and dynamic memory is slower than static. <laughs> That's it. And the static memory is expensive, more expensive, and the dynamic memory is less exp- expensive. And uh, static memory has comp- complex constructions, and also the dynamic uh, have simple constructions. And uh, static memory need to refresh when powered, and uh, dynamic means level of charge determines well charge, but da, 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 such a fucking thing. Need of refresh. Even when the power, yeah. that is the dynamic thing. That is the comparison of uh, statics and dynamics. Uh, after that, we have to uh, go move on with uh, main ROM mem- versus RAM. That is the memory main memory types, right? Yeah, main memory types. Yeah. Uh, so let me compare of about ROM and the RAM. Uh, the ROM is uh, not uh, uh, let, let 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 me tell that you can yeah. you can say the ROM part and uh, I'll say the. Uh, RAM part. Yeah, the ROM is non-volatile and, and the RAM is volatile. And uh, ROM use uh, static memory. And uh, RAM uses dynamic memory. And ROM use non-mutable. That's mainly uh, ROM is non-mutable. That's mean it's read only. Uh huh. And RAM is mutable. Yes. 
Ah, that's my part, right? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 I won't eat. Uh, right, right. Uh, uh, is that it? And uh, Rome is slower than Ram. Ram is faster. Than Rome. Than Rome. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's all. And uh, do we have... Uh, so, for the... Uh, as examples, uh, as Rodam, BIOS, yeah, basic Bios input-output system. Yeah. Uh, BIOS P-ROM, and... P-ROM. mark rom p rom e rom what is p rom is programmable rom rom e rom is erasable rom uh, that is the uh, mutable rom i think so it can erase so, okay uh-huh. uh i think so uh-huh. i uh-huh. i didn't get that yeah. but uh, but uh, and the main memory is consist of large number of storage locations and each have unique address right? we 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 call to that unique address and we get the uh, what we want that output from uh-huh. the, and access, access, location access bit. yes yeah, memories that that's why called memory address byte addressable like mm-hmm. that we call that byte and uh, we get that output yeah yeah uh should we go with that hard disk uh that uh, now we can go with uh, yeah hard disk let's move on mm-hmm. uh when we talk about hard disk is a second storage type no yes uh and it it has uh, equation or the formula to uh, to calculate access time, access time seek time rotational delay uh, no, not rotational yes delay. rotational delay and the transfer time uh, yeah yeah that's yeah. not equation for rotational delay and transfer time they just only definitions in my note uh uh-huh. but 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 the uh, equation is uh, access time is equal to the sum of seek time rotational delay and the transfer time yeah you should re- you should remember that there will be some question from it access time equals to sum of seek times and rotational delay and transfer times yeah i should should i tell it again oh uh, yeah 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 access time equals seek times plus plus uh, rotational delay plus transfer time yeah what is the seek time seek time is seek. track selection time that's mean uh, moving, moving the head Uh, oh. of that uh, hard disk you know this i have checked mm-hmm. on the track and rotational delay means uh, time take for the each uh, each the beginning of these sectors you know yeah mm-hmm. uh, reach the beginning like twice and the transfer time is time required to transfer from this one to this one like that yeah mm-hmm. okay that's all and we are moving with uh, cloud storage uh, before that i should mention that uh, parts of that hard disk is some there are some parts actually uh-huh. uh, i did not know that uh, platter is that we are the uh, storage uh, so we are the store data and uh-huh. it contains several platters and you know the, uh, like plates may buy like up to down like uh, seven disks. plates this like that uh-huh. um, there are uh, three or four yes, disks platter the- rigs the tracks tracks and uh, come to sectors like that mm-hmm. and the spindle is the uh, needle needle one yes uh-huh. uh huh spindle is the uh, motor that holds the platter ah uh, not needle 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 means the head head or no? ah uh, head uh, yeah yeah okay. uh cylinder is the collection of all the tracks uh-huh. and uh, read write heads are the uh, reads to data on the platter that is the header you call as the needle yeah uh that's it uh, should we go with the cloud techniques yeah 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 let's let's move on with that so the cloud storage uh, what is cloud storage the storage of data online in the cloud <laughs> that that is you know the we upload some things to, like google drive or uh, what is microsoft or one drive and also they are several types there are cloud a youtube is also like a, a cloud storage yeah you know? Uh, but it's not actual cloud okay yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there's uh, somewhere in a database no? database yes 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 uh don't get that wrong right yeah don't uh, look up and uh, i upload to there <laughs> 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 don't be dumb just like that um those are the cloud storage is like uh, you know if you are apple user they have i cloud and google users you know google drives and ms nang dropbox dropbox uh, ms if users uh, microsoft and one drive so as like flickers and something else right, right, and yes. benefits of these are the um, i should tell that cloud storage is may uh, great accessibility and reliability we, we cannot uh, we didn't want to protect them 
yeah we don't want to protect them because the maintain companies mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. always care about uh, these hardware and hardware and software companies we just want to uh, take some account. because because the, it all had already had it's like a backup by the yeah think. backup just like backup and uh, the and we can upload uh, we just only need to use a name and password so <laughs> and money 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 <laughs> <laughs> to continue that <laughs> for the data right yeah <laughs> <laughs> for the fucking uh, data was that the end of test first lecture uh first slide right uh so now we uh, are going to that move. is the end of i think uh, like uh, evolution of computers and the some uh, parts of this computer some parts uh, i i meant uh, dot i didn't mention that the uh, i i just mentioned that the basic parts uh, and yeah. we have a lot more to discuss before that uh, should we can go with the data representation types i, I think yeah yeah we can go there <laughs> so now guys uh, we are going to discuss about data information and how they are representing in computer system uh, so first of all what is the data what is data uh what is data actually when we talk about uh, what is data uh a set of components get together for particular purpose to deliver common service a system as input which will be processed and uh, produce as out- output that mean the something some components some uh some facts mm-hmm. uh they didn't process yet yes that are the data mm-hmm. and uh, typically what uh, these are the some facts uh, which are written process for information yeah yeah and uh, what is the information typically the processed data <laughs> is the information and uh, we want to uh, may converting data uh, to information, information. we have process. to use some system yes so what is this system that is the processing <laughs> that is the processing <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, such a bomb <laughs> that is the processing yeah right uh, so what is the system uh, a set of components get together and particular purpose deliver common service that is what that is the processing yeah da 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh there are, uh, when we talk about data we can categorize uh there are we can categorize into two types right into like, two types mainly mainly uh just one is qualitative and another thing is quantitative what is quant- qualitative data i think uh, which are numerically uh, measured i th- the data that i'm numerically yeah. measured uh, yeah. i didn't sure but yeah yeah that that's uh, that cannot be uh, counted measured or easily compressed using numbers that's yes. uh qualitative Quality. data means uh the data we can uh, measured by numerics that numerical measures qualitative means cannot can quantitative ah uh, fuck fuck qualitative means uh information that cannot be you, con- you should cut Qual- qualitative uh, data means information that cannot be counted or the measures easily Uh, quantitative is a data that can be counted or measured in numerical values oh i messed up that thing <laughs> sorry man sorry guys as we mentioned earlier we are not pros and expert we we do mistakes we learn from that mm-hmm. we just do this for uh, avoiding our repeat exams yes yeah uh, so uh, when we talk about quantitative quantitative uh, data uh, there are uh, two types of quantitative data which are uh, discrete and uh, continuous mm-hmm. what are those discrete and continuous uh when we t- uh, talk about discrete data that mean uh, can only take a certain value that mean uh, only take specific numeric values uh, rather than any value in an interval but those numeric values have a clear quantitative 
it means uh, like uh, without decimals right yeah i think so i think so uh and what about the continuous data with the decimals with the decimals <laughs> yeah that's that just like uh, this discrete data just like uh, integers oh no? yes aha uh-huh. Uh, like and the real numbers right real numbers yeah not integers integers using uh, programming, programming. programming. <laughs> what happened to me so that's all are uh, the data types and uh, not, not only we can categorize uh, other way just like uh, numerical and textual uh, instead of using qualitative or quantitative we can use uh, as a numerical data and textual textual data textual no yes is that word yes. yeah so uh how we uh, uh we can uh, numerics we can uh, separate uh, as integers and real oh, what integers and real dude mhm mhm it uh, makes some sense masha uh, i think integers mean uh, full amounts of numerics that's not decimals mm-hmm. but uh, in mathematics we uh, put all the uh, all the numerics in real numbers no uh-huh. uh that's yes, i think so the real numbers is uh, also include also include uh, the decimals values ah, yes, also yes, yes, yes. so integers is full amount mm-hmm. just like 1 2 3 yes. uh real numbers just like 5 maybe mm-hmm. yeah and what fractions no fractions fractions, fractions like or the decimals decimals like. Just like and uh, textual data, so we can categorize as single and multiple characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we talk about single characters, digit and alphabetical. Alphabetical means uh, the that uh, letters in our al- uh, alphabet, no? A to Z, right? Uh, A B C and special characters just like F dollar hashtag dollar percentage mark and <laughs> just like uh, digits mean numerics. Oh, so yes. we can use as an characters. and uh, multiple characters just like numerical alphabetical and alpha numerical what is the alpha numerical just like our id number mm-hmm. alpha numerical oh, yes, yes. just like sa- with some uh, english letters and but, numerics but uh, our id number we have just only numerics right no alpha alphabetical numerical what is with the v uh, i mentioned that our university id number ah university Not that is na- n na- national id National ID is contains only uh, I think no. uh, numbers, right? No, only numbers. But but, uh, but old age, old, old age is co- contains uh, also the V. N- yeah, v. that's mean alpha numerical. Yes. Uh, you should check your uh, parents' uh, ID. ID. You can you uh, can see they also V. Uh, alpha numerical data. Yes. Yeah, that's all. Uh, and alphabetical data just like your name, my name, uh, the podcast name, just like that. Yes. And every words I said. and numericals just like uh, some prices mm-hmm. just like numerical data uh that's all other data types and uh, when you talk about uh, the, this numeric t- data uh, let's talk uh, let's get some uh, value just like uh, uh, 582 mm-hmm. uh we can uh, we can uh, specialize the first and last digits mm-hmm. as a most significant digit and last least, least significant, significant digit. digit how we do that uh, the most uh, left side yes uh most left side digits that that's mean uh, high value digits. high value yeah we uh, take it as a most significant digit and yes if most we, right yes if you are using an uh, decimal uh, uh, decimal value that is contains the power of 10 if we Use the binary value. It contains the power of two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Likewise, that. Likewise, that. It's it's depend on base. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the most uh, right digit. That means the uh, lowest value. Yes. A uh, digit we use least significant digits. I don't know why we use that. Do you know? No. Ah, uh, we don't have any clue about that. <laughs> And ah, uh, uh, for the parities, I think. For the parities, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's discuss about that. Do you know? I had the greatest <laughs> thing. Uh, <laughs> something memorable, memorable. But uh, let's talk about data representations. Anju, 
data representations uh, data representation refers to the form in which data is stored and processed and transmitted uh, let me tell like this uh, digitalization what is the meaning of digitalization that is the process of converting information uh, there was a do you remember there was a question what is uh, in mid exam like what is digitalization yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and no 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 digital digitalization was the answer of that ah yes yes yes, yes. sorry sorry uh, that's it right yeah. uh, uh, so what is digitalization <laughs> is the process of conform- converting information. information right 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 that's is that mean uh, mp3 for mp <laughs> no, no, no. mp3 al- already that was an information yeah it is so 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 ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. just like no we can mp4 convert to mp3 that's a digitalization uh-huh. yes yes yeah aha uh-huh. mm. uh so uh when we talk about uh uh the data representation of computer system uh the this uh, is only now 1 and 0 uh-huh. that, that means mean on and off on and off and that's the binary numeric system numeric system so uh we uh, we, <laughs> we all have to uh, do uh, we all have to play with those uh, binary values yes the, the, our life goes with ones and zeros <laughs> yeah our life depends on ones and zeros in these days <laughs> <laughs> not only these days always always uh so uh we one is used for all if you are interested with double meanings listen carefully <laughs> <laughs> yeah listen carefully man uh you should uh, uh, uh i should mention that you uh you should prefer to use uh, your headphones <laughs> <laughs> so you can concentrate then yeah. i know uh, you can properly understand what we are going to tell you guys uh what is this uh that is i think uh, ip address ip address we will discuss in the future right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we will we will become we will have uh, let's talk about uh, when we talk about binary number system just like we calculate just like our decimal number system mm-hmm. only thing is different is ones and zeros only uh, uh, with yes. this binary system it and means 8 uh, 8 bits equal to 1 byte and yeah. uh, uh, 1024 bytes equal to 1 kilobyte yeah. likewise uh, 1024 uh, multiplies like mbs dbs and why TBs. why why we use uh, instead of using 1000 why we use 1024 Uh, t- uh because the base is 2 base is 2 and the 1024 is uh the power of 10, 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 10 yeah that's why we use uh 1040 1024 uh instead of using 1000 and uh, uh 1024 mb is equals to 1 gb that's mean 1 gigabyte yes and uh 1024 gigabytes equals to 1 terabyte and it's uh, also flowing and say tie or tie yes and yes, yes these uh, bytes can uh, addressable uniquely bytes not bits uh, bytes uh-huh. that's A- mean capital b capital b hmm. uh, this is see this different mm-hmm. uh, don't uh, don't uh, get trap uh, in network companies uh, oh, yes. <laughs> <so> <laughs> they are they are network speed with uh, bits bits ah sim- simple b means bits, bits, bits. don't get that as a byte byte our numbers get as get it as bytes and they are show yeah, i got 100 gb please <laughs> dude that's a simple b that is bits yeah, this power. bits not byte yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. different right 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 mm. <laughs> right right uh steady Ah, uh, and uh, what is this thing? It's by the meaning of the word. That's what I called uh, you earlier. The byte can be addressed uh-huh. uniquely. Uh huh. These are the locations, you know. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, uh, when ah uh, we ah uh, 
Like about data system presentation systems in computer system, uh, we have to use uh, BCD. Binary code decimals. Yeah. Uh, four zeros as a <laughs> one zero in decimal, just like twice. Yes. How I explain that? Four bit codes. Yes. We we can ah oh, okay now I get it. Uh, <laughs> we can represent any decimal value uh, as four bit codes from binary values. Yes. Yeah. That is the BCD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then explain with the ASCII codes. What the? Uh, no, no. ASCII code is a complex thing. Uh, and uh, what stand for ASCII? Uh, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, actually, was extended uh, after uh, before a long time ago, and it. Uh, earlier it was up to uh, one two eight characters and now we have I think two fix six different characters. Yeah, two fix six. Uh, now uh, ASCII use eight. Eight bits. Mm, yeah, more than this. ASCII two. Earlier ASCII used uh, seven bits. Seven I think. bits. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Mm. Let's go with uh, error checking. And uh, for just uh, just for knowledge. Uh, in ASCII, uh, capital A equals to uh, 64 in decimal value. You <laughs> use a paper and uh, convert it to BCD. I don't go to, want to tell in BCD. <laughs> uh, and simple A equals to 90, 97 in decimal. And you should, uh, if you uh, have, if you want to uh, convert it binary, uh, take a paper and uh, do your thing. So let's go to the array checkings. Uh, array checkings we are called like parallels. What about unicodes? Uh, unicodes are also the complex things. They are not compulsory to uh, you know the, the under study or the read these old things and re- remember these old two uh, five six characters. <laughs> this guy is going to panic. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> someone is going to. Uh, Listen <laughs> before they attend to their university life. Yeah. Oh, I never going to drink <laughs> study. <laughs> so uh, let me tell you about the parity, right? Yeah. Uh, we are going to checking errors. Checking errors. The, these parities are for the uh, error checkings. Uh, while data transmissions, you know, the parity is used in error checking to mm-hmm. find errors that may occur during data the data storing or the transmission. During data storing or the transmission. That's mean if uh, we have to care about this data when we transmit one to transmit other. Transmit one to other. Yes. Uh, you, I think you will already experience that uh, some kind of a <laughs> <laughs> parity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will experience this roughly, no? <laughs> 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 Every teacher who thinks this happened with uh, transmitting, huh? now we call it. It's parody. Parody. It's parody. That's parody. Uh, after you guys listen to this podcast, you will be able to you will, like that. You will be able to say all the troubles. That's parody. That's parody. That's parody. Even your GF says no. That's parody. That's parody. <laughs> right, right, right. Next, go for the uh, the parodies are the most. Um, Two modes of parity there are actually mm-hmm. uh, odd, odd parities and the even parities. Mm-hmm. Uh, what odd parities are the, the one bits must be an uh, odd number. That means uh, parities have these ones and zeros. Those are written in the binary codes, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they have ones and zeros. If ones are in odd numbers, that is odd. Uh-huh. Uh, if even numbers of ones are have, then we call it as an even parity. Ah, that, that's mean. Uh, in some uh, binary value, there are so even number of even amounts of one bits. Yes. One values. That's mean it's a even parity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I get it. Uh, these also have the more significant bits and the least significant. Uh, just bits. like we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, that's up. To, uh, those are uh, just parities and ones and zero. If we missed one, this all the data will be crashed and. You will uh, you will experience you some some you have already experienced that yeah mm, so with our Bluetooth phones <laughs> <laughs> uh, so use headphones 
so let me go with the data comparison uh, comparison dude. so how we check uh, this uh, how we convert to this pad is for even to odd or to even it means you have to if it is even you have to do an odd huh? uh, if there is a, a even number of ones you have to add one uh, add then one it, it then it becomes one as one becomes as where odd. for least significant uh, usually it the uh, it uh, apply, applies to the least significant bit huh. if uh, re- if it is test to add on the more significant bit you have to uh, add that into the more significant ah uh, that's mean we are uh, we are going to change uh, the previous least significant as we want uh, if it is stale ah uh-huh. okay that's uh, up to question no yes that's the question mm-hmm. so data compression and what do you want to talk about this data compressions and the reduce files and transmission time digital data can be compressed aha uh-huh, yeah yeah and we are going ah zip files you <laughs> zip files if you use a, if you are if you are downloading anything or, or file like games or anything yeah. file you have to extract the, this from yeah. uh, and have that jing jing thing winra do you if you are a windows user you already know about winra thing no yes uh, which is the uh, begging from some money from us but we didn't do <laughs> no one going to donate that thing man <laughs> but it's useful much it's useful uh, so that's the those are zip files and uh, uh like zip files mm. gz files ah uh, uh, man gz and tar i uh, in mostly uh, i face it in linux uh-huh. oss uh-huh. as i know zip nang uh, i already know that's in the windows right windows gz and tar i don't know about the mac oss i i me the <laughs> we didn't use mac no we didn't use mac uh, yeah. right that's a uh, that's it with data representation and we have today done the whole two slides uh, on i think data representations and evolution we have to yeah. we have to do in uh, again we'll do our next podcast in uh, computer architecture uh, and the operating system something heavy uh, yes that is something heavy uh, le- we will do we'll do that one by one the computer architecture will be one podcast and computer uh, operating systems will be uh, another podcast uh, uh, what do you think about this game apps game apps are not to do it in a podcast in it these are for the main, these are for the uh, calculations part right yeah that is, that, so that is not okay. for okay game apps we have we, we have to make some videos like yes this. so we didn't uh, expect to uh, make a podcast on the uh, game app but we are do- definitely looking for the computer architecture and the operating systems yeah. and uh, future we will in a talking part will be i will also upload it some uh, yeah we yeah. we are we are going to continue this thing for for for, for years for for years <laughs> as we can as, as we, we can. Uh, as we have we need to do yes. continue that as we yes. have uh, as we can time and as <laughs> if it is uh, it's just like that it is so, what is it is it is what it is then is. let's then let's what should we do now uh, should we end this now uh, yeah let's hit the uh, the that red button here uh, so uh, you can listen to, uh, listen now on uh, anchor fm google podcast uh, apple podcast also uh, yeah, spread our podcast to a, every uh, platforms uh, audio platforms platforms uh, uh, so you can listen and make sure Uh, there's a uh, subscribe button or if you can subscribe subscribe if you don't like then fuck it uh, <laughs> yeah. if you don't like uh, just uh, don't uh, podcast and when you do your uh, do you just just, just go out, get out get, right, get right, out. right 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 uh, <laughs> then <laughs> so we are about to end this less uh, session and uh, don't forget to explore everything uh, so see you soon with the next podcast bye bye I am Anujyot Sara I am Yala